Jonathan Kegg is joining us there, tracking a nice Saturday, but maybe a little bit of rain, you said, right? Yeah, especially north of Orlando. We're going to be on the grayer side under those overcast skies today. Watch out for those scattered showers coming through, especially once we get into the early stages of the afternoon. That's when rain chances really go on the increase under those overcast skies again. Right now, we already have the clouds out there. This is a live look in Orlando, uh, downtown Orlando. Looking nice, at least through this shot, but once the sun comes up, you will see a lot of clouds. The airport reporting those overcast skies there. Temperatures hanging around 60 degrees. The breeze out of the north at about five to 10 miles an hour. Looking at the satellite and radar, showing again what the surface observations are putting out there. There are the clouds again, locked into place. Not much, if any, sunshine today. That is gonna help to keep the temperatures on the cooler side as well. Back to the upper 50s for us right now in Ocala. 56 in the villages, 58 degrees in Leesburg today. 63 for us in Kissimmee, at least right now, I should say. Once we get into the afternoon though, not warming up much. Here is a look at your pinpoint accurate hour by hour forecast to see the clouds on your screen there. Gray all day today. The rain chances increase once we get to lunchtime and then and beyond, especially for areas north of Orlando. Keep on saying that, but the rain chances still are not zero in Orlando, just a little bit less and they're not going to be as widespread. All because of this cold front right here draped across South Florida. It's going to act as a highway, if you will, to send moisture from the Gulf of Mexico right on through the Florida Peninsula. Pinpointing that for you right here. There is 11 o'clock, everybody locked in the clouds, just a stray opportunity for a shower at this point. The higher chance comes in right around lunch and then certainly beyond that. This is two o'clock now, and here's what I'm talking about. Right in around Orlando, we have a few scattered showers around, same deal back into Lakeland, but the steady stuff draped right across north central Florida here, at least north of Orlando. There's five o'clock for us around dinner time. Scattered downpours continue again. A few downpours in and around the city of Orlando. Notice where we are on the drier side for us, mainly into Osceola County and into Brevard County. Still a stray shower possible, though. There's 11 o'clock for us. Still the heaviest and steadiest rain focused, lifting even further north. Now likely north of Sanford into Daytona Beach, still in the Marion County, also into Flagler County. Forget about tomorrow, though. Once we get into tomorrow, all of that lifts to the north. We start to break out sunshine again, and that is going to help to warm us up back into the upper 70s and lower 80s. Today, though, we are chilly. We are gray. Back to the mid-60s for us in Leesburg, low to mid-60s in Marion County. A little bit warmer, still gray, though, just a little drier, which helps to get our temperatures back to the low to mid-70s in Kissimmee, into Melbourne, Mico. Yeehaw Junction, Holopop, a little bit warmer for us as at least we will be on the drier side. Tonight back down to around 60 degrees under those overcast skies, but then improvements are coming in the weather department tomorrow, and they'll cool things down again on Monday. For that, here's a look at your pinpoint accurate seven-day forecast. Temperatures all over the place over the next seven days. Lower 80s for us on Sunday, tomorrow with an increasing sunshine. Hanging around 70, though, on Monday with a few showers early on in your morning. That's because of another cold front coming through. We're going to rebound in the temperature department again on Tuesday and Wednesday just to crash again once we get towards Thursday in the upcoming weekend, Jerry. But it's still warm. It's still warm, at least all relative this time of the year. Yeah, you got to love Florida. Absolutely. Thanks, Jonathan.